Um, hello. Yes. Thanks. Uh, my name is uh, Tom Fontaine. I'm uh, managing director of a small company called uh, Ormeal Energy. We, um, you know, we are a small company, which means we are we are accountable to, you know, um, well, most of the company is actually in this in this room. So we are quite a small company. So we, you know, also um, I'm an engineer by background, so it's my nature to just look at things in a, in a factual uh, in a factual sense so um i'd also easy to get a hold of if anyone has specific questions i'm happy to give people my email address or even my phone number if, if uh, you know because often people do have questions um first of all just to quickly why did we uh, get involved in this project um for us as a as a uh, as an engineering company and as a company that you know is looking for opportunities we said it seemed quite straightforward new south wales needs energy gas is far cleaner burning than coal so it seemed to make sense to see if there is gas in you know in the area so um but also need to make something quite clear is at this point there is no project all we've done is we spent one year worth of going through approvals and uh, going you know getting our all our consultants in place and and, and everyone doing all the uh technical work to make sure that it's you know safe to go and drill one hole to gather some information. So at this point, that's all that's happened. There's, one, there's been one hole drilled. Um, at one point in the process, there was a hearing with the, uh, with the Sydney Catchment uh, Group, and um, you know, within that meeting, they said, I think in their own words, and, and, and Chris uh, Lawrence was there, so we can say exactly what the quote was. But there's been over a thousand wells drilled that are almost exactly the same as the one hole that we've already drilled. Now, um, if this is all true, then, uh, you know, why, if this is all safe and everything's fine, then why has, has there been so much concern? And in my view, I think there's, there's one reason. It's because information like this keeps being passed around that is a blatantly, it, it's blatantly false. It's not based on any fact, there's no study, um, there's no, you know, what we've done, if these things were actually true, we would not have been allowed to drill even that one hole. There's a petition going around that has these same things, and I've said in the past, if these were true, I'd sign that petition. I'd be scared. What I'm here to say today is, look, really, we want to get the facts out there. So most of these people here are, are experts in this field. They're independent experts. It has nothing to do with our, you know, we've hired them on a contract basis to look at these things and make sure that, that these things are not true. And um, so now they're here to, you know, today to answer some of your questions. Um, we are heavily regulated, and we are very, you know, intimately and closely scrutinized. So what amazes me is that this kind of thing can go out there without any scrutiny, without any comment, without any backup, without any supporting documentation, supporting experts to say these things are true. So that's what we are trying to do. We, we, or will continue to try to just provide independent information to make sure that these things are not true. Because if they were true, look, for me, you know, Earth is my favorite planet to live on. I don't want to screw it up. So, you know, I'm very conscious of doing things in proper manner. Um, so, and just saying things over and over again in the press or, or uh, just printing them doesn't make them true. What makes them true is if they are true. And that's what I hope we'll find out more of today, is what, what are the facts? 